Good morning. Today we're going to talk about flexing, otherwise known as equip slot manipulation. This glitch was discovered by Flex, and in a nutshell, it lets you equip any of your items in any of your slots. If you want to skip ahead, you can find some timestamps in the description. Otherwise, let's start by walking through how to perform the glitch. You'll need to understand how to use quantity storage to buy items, so if you're not familiar with that, check the description for another video. Step 1. Equip any ring other than the Ring of Favor and Protection. Step 2. Fill up your inventory with at least 10,000 units of weight. This is known as cramming, and if you want to learn more, you can find yet another video in the description. In order to do this, use QS to buy stacked weapons or armor. Andre's Pike is a good choice, since 999 of them is almost exactly 10,000 weight. You'll know you're crammed when trying to unequip the ring gives this error message. Step 3. Decide which slot you want to equip into, find it on this chart, also linked below, and remember the other slot shown on it. For instance, I want to equip something onto my head slot, so the slot I need to remember is the second offhand slot. Step 4. Open the menu that you want to equip from, then exit all the way out. For instance, I want to equip some pants, so I'll open the pants menu. Step 5. Do anything that prevents you from equipping items. This includes rolling, attacking, using an item, etc. I recommend using a humanity since the long animation gives you plenty of time. While using the item, open your equipment and try to access the slot you determined earlier. Again, since I want to equip onto my head slot, I'll try to open the second offhand slot. If nothing happens, you did it right. Finally, without closing the menu, try to unequip the ring. Confirm the error message, and you'll find yourself in the menu you opened earlier. Choose your item, and voila! Pants on head. For a quick reference, let's run through it one more time. First, equip a ring. Then, cram your inventory. Next, open the menu you want to equip from. Finally, use an item, try to open the appropriate slot, then unequip the ring. Now let's get into the details. The first thing to note is that no other slot points to the first ring slot, so it can't be accessed. Additionally, there's a hidden slot which normally holds your hairstyle. However, it is still a full-fledged armor slot. On that note, all of the armor slots can hold any type of armor, and its effects will be applied normally. Taking the hair slot into account, that means you could equip 5 Havel's chest pieces for ridiculous poise, or 5 different helmets to receive all of their buffs. Unfortunately, helmet effects won't stack with themselves, so 5 crowns of dusk won't boost your damage more than one. This also applies to equipping two of the same ring, so don't bother. Things get really interesting when you try to equip an item into a slot of a different type. Items in Dark Souls belong to one of four categories. Weapons, armor, rings, or goods. Each item has a unique ID within its category, but items in different categories may coincidentally share an ID number. When this happens, the original item will behave as if it were the other item when forced into a slot of that type. As an example, the red sign soapstone is a good, and the red tear stone ring is, well, a ring, but they both have an ID of 101. Thus, if we flex the soapstone into a ring slot, it's equivalent to having equipped an RTSR without having to actually own one. For goods and rings, this can be done in either direction. There are also quite a few overlapping IDs between weapons and armor, but for unknown reasons, it only works when equipping an armor piece as a weapon. Trying to do the reverse will simply fail to display any of the weapons with valid IDs. Also, when flexing an item into a weapon slot, selecting an item that's currently equipped in your helmet, 
gloves, pants, or fourth item slot will crash the game, so I recommend emptying those slots first. For a full list of corresponding IDs, check the description for a link to the Speed Souls wiki page. One last thing to keep in mind is that flexing an item does not alter the item itself. It only forces the game to interpret it differently. This means that a flexed item will not appear in your bag, cannot be sold, cannot be dropped, cannot be upgraded, and will simply disappear if unequipped. There are many other strange and useless interactions to play with, but in the interest of keeping this video relatively short, I'll leave them as an exercise to the viewer. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please post them below. Thanks for watching.